Yeah. How long have I been out? Pushing 16 hours. You're hungry? Starving. Not surprised. You haven't had anything to eat since the day before yesterday. <laughs> How's Chris? Coping. You gave him one hell of a scare, Elle. I know. I'll apologise when he's out. Actually, Chris wants to say sorry to you. I mean, you should apologise for going off at him like that, but what you said, it was right. Thank you. Is it as good as the movie? It's better. Much better. Warned America not to get involved. The General said that America could find herself in the longest, costliest and bloodiest war in her history if she intervened. He said his forces have occupied several major coastal cities. Much of the inland has already been taken and losses have been below expectations. Many civilians and military personnel have been captured and are being held in humanitarian conditions. The General then repeated his claim that the invasion was aimed at reducing imbalances within the South Pacific region. As international outrage continues to mount, reports of sporadic fighting in many country areas and at least two major battles. For one thing, we can tell it's not turning into World War Three. Sounds like it's just us. He's trying to remind them of Vietnam. It's supposed to be their national nightmare or something. Bigger nightmare for the Vietnamese. The Americans don't like getting involved in other countries. Woodrow Wilson and isolationism. Isn't that one of the topics we're meant to be preparing over the holidays for history? <laughs> Remind me to do some work on that tonight. Part about international outrage sounded promising. I can't imagine too many countries rushing over to spill blood for us. But don't we have treaties and stuff? Like, I thought politicians were meant to organise all this. We paid their salaries, but they don't really do much, mate. Sounds like you, Chris. What does it mean, reducing the imbalances? Sharing things more equally, we've got all this land and all these resources. There's countries a crow spit away with people sitting there packed in like battery hens, and you can't blame them for resenting us. We sit on our butts, we have all this money, and we look smug. So maybe it's time we make a decision. Option one, we can sit here and hide, doing nothing. Option two, we can try to be heroes, try and take back the showground, but we'll probably end up in there, or six feet under, or three. We go guerrilla style. Us, at night, out there, using hit and run tactics to take back our town. Yeah, we were born here. We grew up here. We know this place better than anyone else. We can ambush them, pick them off one by one. Are we seriously discussing murder? I don't think it's considered murder in these circumstances. The Bible says thou shalt not kill. David killed Goliath. That's a metaphor. So what? You think all of this is fair? Of course not. So are you in or are you out? I should be out, but we're already so far in. I was with Ellie when we smashed through Wirrawi. It's no coincidence that we chose to go camping the weekend of the invasion. We were spared for a reason. We're supposed to do something. So I'm in. Just don't expect me to kill anybody. All this talk of killing people is scaring me half to death. But Homer's right. We have to do something. We wouldn't be able to live with ourselves if we didn't. You wouldn't have to live with yourself if you were dead. You're scared, Chris. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you, Kevin? Nothing wrong with wanting to live. Seriously, who are we kidding? We can't do this. Our parents would have a field day if they knew we were planning to put our lives on the line like this. We have no experience whatsoever. Not to mention the fact that we're still kids. Yeah, well, most of the soldiers are too. But when the time comes, when we're in a situation like Ellie was, we have to make a decision. And I can't guarantee that I won't freeze up with fear. I mean, I'll probably scream. But I can't sit here. I won't sit here and hope that everyone else is going to be all right. None of us know how we're going to react in that type of situation. But you're right, we can't just sit here. If you want my opinion, we need to go to the showgrounds to learn more. Well, if we want to find out more about the showgrounds, we need to get near it. If we want to save our families, we need to get in it. We could tunnel in. Yeah, or we could pole vault over the fence. Anyone got any good suggestions? I think we just have to trust our instincts. I mean, I killed that guy because my instincts kicked in. When it came down to it, I valued my own life over his. I didn't want to save my friends, I didn't want to save my country, I wanted to save myself. 
Our instincts are all we have left. And what are your instincts telling you? Tomorrow, the war will begin. <laughs>